Hello everyone, welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, the Domination Campaign. And I was sitting here for probably about 20 minutes figuring out what I was going to do. I think that I'm ready to start my own kingdom. I got pretty much everything done that I needed to get done. As far as my big brother is concerned, he has all the necessary skills. We're going to get him the 50, so that way he can become a governor. I also checked relation with everybody, and when you look at relation by kingdom, you start to see, okay, only, a, like, uh, that's one clan. That's uh, three clans. That's not bad. That's two or three clans. Southern Empire, okay, that would be the only real problem. Batania, two clans. And I'm looking at ones that are in single digits or, or negative. Because those are the ones that are going to raid my villages. So when I look at that, that looks pretty good. And then I look at my stats. Okay, I'm about to hit 225. Which means then I'll have mounted patrols and keen sights. So nobody can escape from me in my party. And I can get them back to my big brother who can hold them. I'm about to get 100 for slave trader. For 20% more prisoners I can hold on to. I've already got charm and leadership done. Medicine is getting near the maximum, and the only thing that is holding me back from this moment is the fact that I'm about to hit Talent Magnet, and my little brother is not 18 years old. I get three parties, which is going to be my big brother, my big brother's wife, and my wife. Then when I get Talent Magnet, I'll have my little brother run a party actually let me rephrase that when i get my fee my big brother will become governor opening up a spot for a party leader which will be for my little brother then when i get talent magnet for an extra clan party that will actually go to my little brother's wife and that's my four parties so what i think i should do is i should probably Wait, one more episode is what I'm thinking. And maybe try to track down the people that I need to track down. I think the biggest thing right now is the Southern Empire. They're going to be the worst that I'm going to have to deal with. Those are the ones that I really don't have the relation with. And I think that's what's going to hold me back. But where is going to be our starting location? Now, taking everything into consideration, I have a feeling what I think are the best starting locations in the game. And that really comes down to Makeb and some of the Batanians. And that is because of the castles. You have all these castles that you could take that are going to funnel goods to your town. So when you take that into account, I think those are the best. However, as most people know, I like to play Empire with the Presence perk. Which, right now I have a leader of the masses I'm going to respect. I lose no morale when recruiting prisoners of my culture. So I can recruit as many Empire troops as I want and suffer no morale. Which means I could recruit a hundred at a time and I never have to worry about morale. So I am going to have to take care of that. Also, I am going to have to respect... Oh, we didn't do trade this game. I was about to say I was going to have to respect artisan community or great investor, but we did not actually do that this game. Okay, so I will need to respect leadership. You know what? I think actually we can do it. I've got 1.1 million. You know what? We're going to do it. Now I think about it, I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to actually show this because I do get quite a few questions from people on my transitioning of how I transition from one part of the game to the other. I do get a fair amount of questions and it's really not difficult to do to transition once you, you get a process down pat. So I'm, I'm going to show actually how I transition into going from a mercenary 
to a vassal. So I'm going to show that. All right. So first things first, we are going to lead the kingdom. And right now we are going to make a party. Now I want most of my people to get empire troops. And that's mainly going to be the cavalry and the infantry. What I do is I already have a ton of cons guard. So there are my horse archers. Once I'm done getting these people ready to go, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get Peon champions. So we are now going to um I do need to do one. I was trying to think how I was going to work my big brother. He needs one raid is what he needs. You know what? I should join up with somebody and do one raid. Now that I think about it. This would be the perfect opportunity to do it. You know, I think I'm going to do that. I'll show you what I mean. Um, let me do this real quick. And, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by this. Are they still at war? All right, so they're still at war. Let me go join up with them real quick, and, and I'll show you what I mean by it. I need to get my big brother 50 engineering. I'd prefer to have more. So there's something really simple that you can do. You need to find the... You can do this as a mercenary. This will be really, really quick to do. And it's better to do it now as a merc. I should have probably done this first before I left the kingdom. But I will show you exactly what I mean. We just need to find any lord. It's been a while. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this castle, which they just unfortunately took. Ah, oh, jeez, that sucks. That sucks. Now, as a mercenary, I can leave whenever I want to. There's their army. You know, I could take out the army if I wanted to. That's just him, isn't it? It's just two people. See, I'm afraid he's going to come after me. I feel like I'm going to need to take him out. Stop there, stranger. Oh, I don't have great relation with him. This actually comes out perfect. There's a 570. See, now we're too far into their territory. Uh, this is what really sucks. Yeah, we want to take care of these guys first. And I missed him. Move! Fire at will! Infantry! Forward! Force archers! Move!
I'm not going for my guys. I've almost got that 225. I do need to get that 225 riding. That's actually really, really important. Take care of that. What I want to do is I want to do just one seed. That's that's kind of the thing. But now we can release him. Which that puts him up to 38. Him puts him up to 22. Um, where am I? I'm close enough. I could take, I don't, right, I'm going to take these guys just because I want to run back and to make sure I've got over a hundred. I think I do, but maybe I should go join up with somebody else. I just need to do one quick siege is all I need to do. I get this should get me a hundred. There we go. I got a hundred. I got slave trader. I'm good. I'm only six points back, which that's only going slow because I only have four points to endurance. But I will be able to get two twenty five. So I'm thinking, should I go someplace else? Because now they got that five hundred man army there. I just need to do one siege. Is all I need to do, and then we're good to go. But that 500 man army would definitely take me out. So, what can I do? Um, who are you guys at war with? They're at war with the Asurai. So, maybe what I should do is join up with the Asurai. Now that I think about it. What do we got going on here? They got 900. And you can't talk to them anymore. That, that sucks. You used to be able to talk to them, and that was amazing. Because what I would actually do right now is join up with them. And defend against that. But you can't do that anymore. Did they just break up? They just broke up. Um, To you, stranger. Two eighty. I got both of you. Now, then. They're the ones I'm actually lowest on, although this guy's actually pretty good. I I think it would be best to join up 
with the Asurai and help take these back because this is going to be this is going to be pretty darn good for me. Truth, move. There they go again, putting the companions in. Soldiers, we'll deal with it. Motor, move. Give them help. Hold fire. I need to get as many as I can get close to 325. I don't know where he's at. Didn't see any gains there. doesn't have the reach that the Grim Reaper has. time getting through. Turn the combat log back on. 221 in riding, so I'm almost there. with him 65 with him I should have taken the prisoners I could have got me a head start it's been a while oh yeah now I wish I could have got these all myself but we will get them because I'm gonna put everybody up front Immediately release, send everybody in with uh, their their glaives. They captured people, and hopefully this will give me an opportunity to capture all the lords. But now we need to run uh, one, just got to run one siege is the key to it. Oh, this is a mess. It's like, how are you gonna get in there? Can't get into the mess. Hopefully I've captured most of them, but we're ready to begin right now. My little brother's about to turn 18. We'll get him a wife. I, I got, I will cost me virtually nothing. If not, they'll pay me. So hopefully we caught everybody. He's to 41, 52, damn.
But now what I could do is, is I could go hit this castle. I just need him to get 50 in engineering and he's done. Now, obviously, the more the better for building a project. And they are going to help me. Which is actually really good. That's actually really, really good. Because it just means that I'm going to be so I'm going to be quite safe. He's already 20. I better be careful on the timing of that. You know, you, you would obviously like him to be up a hundred or more. All right. Now there's a 992. That's what I got to be careful of. Okay, I got him to 29, and as much as I would love to finish it, I don't think we're going to be able to do it now. When it was 900 versus 500, that was easier. That would, we're almost close. I need to plan this out. Okay, so we need to Hold fire. these guys out. Alright, get the heck away from me. Alright, we gotta take out the cab again. Then go take them out. They'll take out most of their archers. Then they're just mowing down their archers right now.
Bring him back. Take out their archers again. Now we've taken out most of their archers. Except for this. That I didn't want. fascinated on me but we need to get them over here so that way I can flank them Is that it? Am I the only one left? I got 117 guys. Two groups. Move. 
that's not the greatest. Wow, they've actually split up. I don't know if this is gonna work. Stop hitting me. Damn, that'd be aim. You know what? I don't think. Trying to flank him. Oh, we got him flanked. We are going to have to move. see what they're doing. What are they going to do? Everyone! Horse archers! Forward! Alright, so they're fixated on me again. I think they're retreating. Yeah, they're retreating. Soldiers! Hold fire! Mounted archer! Hold arrows! Everyone! Attack! That's it, they're done. Yeah, I knew I could take him at the end because with Khan's guard, oh, you can take a four to one ratio. All I had to do was what I did was is I split them up with the transfer command. And then that way I could flank them. And there's a 40. 
Right. He's 37. 42. 90. 46. Six, oh, geez, really? I didn't get any of the ones that I needed. That really, really sucks. And I'm going to take, um, I might as well take the lower tier so that way they start building up pretty quick. I should just take them all. Um, I forget how much it's going to go up to. It's going to jump up. It won't be 70. It's not red. It's 84. So now let's go back down to that castle. Although I could get attacked again. I said we just got to get him to 50. I probably, I don't think I would have made it had I not helped them out in battle. I, I don't think I would have made it. But now that they're helping me, it's going to make it that much easier. I do need to watch out for another army coming this way, though. He's 32, but where they get the engineering is when they're destroying items, not building. So that's where he's really going to get his engineering. So once we can get these four built... That's where he's going to get them. Once he has 50, then we can go ahead and we can make a kingdom. My little brother is, I think, going to turn 18 in the summer. And then that opens everything up. So what you do is, is I don't care about the walls. Just let it go. Because destroying there, this is when you're going to see it fly. He's currently at 40. But now watch what happens when they start destroying. 43. 48. 50. Already he's done. He's already finished. I'm going to need. Let's deal with Clive for let's deal with everybody else first. I got to decide what I'm going to do. This could take me a moment because I got to decide if I want a two handed axe or if I want to continue with what I'm doing right now. So we want. Rain siege engine build is increased by 10%. And then Prison Architect for the reduced escape chance from Dungeon. So he's finished. He's 100% done. Now anything else I get him is going to be a bonus. Now is when I got to decide. You know, I figure I almost want Bow more. 
that's where I really help out in sieges. I think that is where I shine is with a bow. I need, and I don't think I have a noble bow. Did I grab one? Nope. I got the noble longbow for Marika, but I don't have one. But now the question is, is how long do you let him go for? Like I said, the longer you let him go, the better it's going to be. So what you could do is, is you can get a bit cheesy. And you just sit here. Until you're going to get attacked. This is where he gains it. Right there. That's how they gain it. He gained three points. You just sit here and let them build siege engines. And then you just destroy them. In which now he's going to gain... Two points. He's already 59. So, if you don't want to just sit here and do this, you could just leave and come back and build again, is what you could do. So, I think that's actually quicker to do. I'm not sure. But this is where he gains it. Right? There. 61. No, the question is, is how long do you let him go for? You could see by the build how important it is. Faster building a project is 15.3%, which I'm assuming it's 1% for every four. So at 100, it's 25% faster building projects. That's a lot for early in the game to build projects that fast. So the question is, is how long do you sit for? There's 62. He's gaining two points every time he destroys one. So that's basically a half a percent faster build. But you are wasting time by doing it. What's the 75 perk? Range troops 25% more. Oh, that's an engineer. 25% increased build, build speed for castle projects. Town projects, 12% increased speed. Yeah, I want 75. Yeah, definitely. 12% increased build speed for, I mean, on top of what he's going to have. Yeah. He only needs, what, three more hits? And it'll be 75. Now, now it's dropped to 70. Yeah, they're, they're leaving. That's fine. They can go. As soon as you hit 75, we're done. We'll end up taking the castle for them. Just so the Southern Empire is pushed further away. I'll be the next one will do it and we'll be done. And there's a 75. But you could probably go a lot higher. Town projects, 12% increased build speed. At 100 is a governor and a captain. Governor. Increased chan hit chance to siege engines by 10% during a camp siege. Every time a project... Uh, I don't like that. Uh, each... Militia increases build speed of siege engines. Holy cow. <clears throat> That's like impenetrable. 
But it doesn't really matter because the AI doesn't stock up like we do. But what I could do... Do I build... Do I get Marika started? And he's up to 18.8%. Um... Yeah, it's like, do I stop now and just call it good? Now is when I build everything up. He's good to go. You know what? I think we're going to end up going. I don't like this map. I do not like this. And I'm trying to do this from a horse. Because I'm still trying to get 225 riding. I'm 247 in medicine. Ah, oh, you're lucky I wasn't paying attention. Hundred twenty eight, <laughs> and like an idiot. I hit the button. All right, we took the castle form. And I'm basically, I'm done. I have everything done that I needed to get done. So we can go ahead and now switch over to Marika. He's 100% finished. We can now really begin our 
because I don't know heroes so we're at war with the northern empire now not the southern uh, it is yeah it's the northern let's go to northern empire uh we're not really low with anyone super high relation with the north what i want what i'm hoping for is this right here that we can join up with the south as we go to war with the West to take Rote. I think we're done. I'm just staying right now to keep my influence going, but we're done. Now it's going to be, I, I accomplished everything I wanted to. I'm extremely, extremely happy. I don't know if his clan. Stop there. Who are you? It is Minus two. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to stick around, so I might as well take him out. So now all I have to do is create my parties. Town to dismount, it's much easier in a town. So now I'm going to create my four, well, three clan parties. I don't know. I'm going to hit 250. I'm going to have to create a fourth. But my little brother should come of age very quickly, and then I got to find him a wife. And that gained up to positive eight with him, so I'm happy about that. That'll help out a little bit, just in case they do survive long enough. But now I'm going to show you exactly how I build up my armies. And because I have a contract of, what, about 280, and I'm gaining nine influence a day, I can just sit here and gain about 2,800 dinars a day. By doing absolutely nothing. I think it was 280 a day. So that would be about 2,520 dinars every day for doing nothing. But we're not going to end up doing that. I don't think my little brother, I think it's right around summer is when he hits. And I do need to pick up one more companion, which I'm assuming is going to end up being a northern em uh, an empire. There you go. Scholar. Absolutely perfect. But the problem with him is, is you're going to have to gear him up for being... Now, the thing I'm going to have to do in between episodes... I already know who my my people are going to be for running... Each formation. But what you have to plan out is the fact that... 
anybody that's not in a formation as a formation captain is going to end up being put in the, the infantry just because that's the bug that tail world has and i'm on 1.0.0 which it's not going to get fixed so I actually have to plan for that. So most of these people, I'm going to have to end up making sure that I know who's who. And I get them the equipment that they need. Which is, is going to be the biggest thing. Because right now I have a ton of people that are on horses with bows. And really there's only going to be... You know, three people on boats. Actually, two. And that's going to be Marika and my big brother to begin with. Because they're going to be archer, horse archer captain. And then when Clive ends up going away, he's going to... And then I'll have another our, uh, horse archer captain. So, the, in between episodes, I'm going to end up taking all of this stuff off. And I'm going to make sure I know everybody who's going to be assigned to groups. I need to get them all shields because that's the way that Tail World has them put in right now. And like I said, it sucks. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we just kind of have to deal with it right now. So that's what I'm going to end up doing um, in between episodes. I'll end up getting that done. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care and thanks for watching.